Hello, my name is Fred Blum. I'm the president of the New York Bass Nation. I'm here today to talk about the Ramp Monkey program that we do in conjunction with Clean, Drain, and Dry. In 2012, Barb Elliott, our conservation director, approached us with a unique idea to expose our members at tournaments to Clean, Drain, and Dry. Her idea was to get help from local youth organizations to come to our tournaments and implement the program called Clean, Drain, and Dry. Clean, Drain, and Dry is a national program for invasive plant control as you come out of the water with your boat. It involves cleaning the boat of all debris, cleaning the boat of all weeds, removing the bilge plug to drain the bilge, and then after the fish are weighed, to remove the live well plugs so that the live wells are drained as well. This prevents invasive species from leaving the lake in which you just removed your boat. These are the junior southern tier um, bass masters and they are cleaning the weeds off of the boats to make sure that we can don't transplant the invasive species from Chautauqua Lake to some of the other lakes that they have on the tournament. The kids right now what they're doing with this program they're going to pull the weeds and the vegetation off of this so that if we go to another body of water, we're not bringing those weeds with, with us to another body of water. So it's real important to, for everyone to do their part. This is a great program. I don't have to do, normally I gotta do this myself. So I like it, I like it a lot. In 2012, we took a trial at Cayuga Lake to see how this would work. This process takes roughly 30 seconds per boat. We had two lanes. We could process boats two to a minute. We actually processed boats faster then the boats came out of the water. In a 100 boat tournament, we can process every boat without any disruption to the normal processes of a major bass tournament. After the one trial, we reevaluated the process, refined it to a degree to include some training and education of the young people, and in 2013, we began the process of including ramp monkeys in every one of our events. It has become a huge success. For two days, these kids, in the rain yesterday, they were over there cleaning boats and taking care of clean, drain, and dry. So as part of this, we donate $100 a day to their junior bass masters in appreciation for their hard work. So there's $200 check for the junior bass masters. Come on, give them a hand now. They did a great job. At the end of 2013, we submitted our application for a national award that is sponsored by Berkeley Fishing. Berkeley is a well-known sponsor of a conservation organization nationally with the Bass Angler Sportsman Society. We submitted pictures and a description of what we achieved and were notified in December that indeed we had been named the National Conservation Project of the Year. So with that award, Ramp Monkeys has become a national phenomenon. Uh, gradually, national sponsors are picking up on the idea and at our tournaments in 2014, each and every event that we held had ramp monkeys at it. And people came and saw how the local community got involved with our events and to see how the youth participated in the events. One of the surprising facts for the young people was exactly how many invasives there are in New York State. When you combine all the plants and animals and the aquatic vegetation, there's 1,100 different invasive species that have come into this state that are not native. Some of them have been harmful. Some of them have been innocuous. Nobody knows that they're even there. And some of them have actually worked to the benefits of the lakes, cleaning the water of such as zebra mussels. So there's, there's give and take with some of them. But the event is that the natural species, the, the native species of New York, are having to compete with invasive species. And what we really want is we want our own native New York plants and animals to have the preference in their habitat. So in conclusion, the Ramp Monkey Program is, an, is a really good way for local community activism in invasive species. In September 2014, Governor Cuomo in New York signed a clean drain and dry law, which is implemented when he signed it. It includes every water access point in the state, whether they be public, private, whether they be county owned, whether they're state ramps 
or whether they're private ramps that are operated by a marina. Clean, drain, and dry is now the law in New York State, and the New York Bass Nation is a proud part of the initial group that is trying to educate and promote clean, drain, and dry. We look forward in our events in 2015 to implementing and displaying Ramp Monkeys as well as other programs to improve the environment and to make people aware of the dangers of invasives, both plants and animals. Thank you.